So here you go, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is uh, video two of the What You Get in the Box uh, series from Wedgetail Ignitions Australia. So this is for a very brief period in time. BMW released the 1980 model and it didn't have uh, the full development time to get the electronic ignition into that series. It didn't happen until 1981. And so they had that, uh, an enormous, I don't know what it must have cost, but they developed points in a can. So the can looks just like this, except it's the BMW factory one, and it has a rubber snorkel coming out of the body of the thing here somewhere. And in there is a set of points. Unusually, a set of points that fits a 5-litre Holden Commodore motor in Australia. But... It only happened for a short space of time. Those cans are very rare and very hard to come by now. And um, they were only made, as I said, for one period in, in the life of the bike. And they were a real combination of a modern system with a modern cam drive. And uh, that modern cam drive is an offset uh, drive like that, uh, full floating. And it fits into a thing that looks, in fact, it is the body of a Bosch ignition system. But in there, they put a set of points. So if you have one of those bikes, and a lot of them seem to turn up in things like RSs and RTs from that vintage, um, then you need a combination of the two kits. So if you buy that particular kit, then what you will get is you'll get one of these completely redesigned and remanufactured uh, hall trigger cans, timing cans, and uh, in there in the top of this is all the um, gear to drive the hall trigger unit, it goes into the can the opposite way uh, to the points ignition one so that down here in the body of the cam that cutaway shutter unit that I showed you is facing with the open side upwards and the hall trigger goes down into it. So if you ever have a failure with a single uh, hall trigger you can just undo the four screws, take the cap off, unscrew it out of there and fix it without buggering up your timing and changing everything around. Now, because it has points, it also needs an electrical connection system. So the electrical connection harness is exactly the same as what you get with a point ignition bike. There's these two U-shaped brackets here that hang underneath the tank mounts at the rear of the tank, underneath the frame, and the control module goes onto it. And it is supplied with this harness, which has, by the way, this plug comes in the packet and slips over the end of that little plug. That little plug is provided with the switch disassembled so that it's easy for you to thread that wiring loom through wherever it has to go to get to where it needs to be in your bike. Now that's all you need. Inside here is electronic. It's all electronic and this can can be specified factory fitted with twin hall triggers and a switch on your ignition module which is here. There will be a switch on this side of the module just here which if your hall trigger fails when you're driving along the road you are able to flick that switch and bring in the second module that will be installed in here. The second hall trigger, not module, I should have said. So that's what you get in a points in a can bike made from about 19, I don't know, the end of probably 1978 through to about June or July of 1979, I think. I, no doubt someone will tell me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the ballpark. And you'll certainly know if you've got one because you'll have a points can like that with a rubble snorkel rubber snorkel sticking out of it and you'll have a condenser sitting up on the front of your timing chest thank you once again for looking at this ladies and gentlemen boys and girls this is for uh, instructional purposes for people wondering what they get when they buy the system and also a help for those who have bought it on how to fit it ride safely stay well until we meet again